Hey guys, so I'm at CVS getting uh, like Jolly Ranchers for my friend that has been in the hospital. I'm finally getting to see him. Um, so I told him I'd bring him candy because he's on a liquid diet right now. So next time I see you guys, I'll be at the hospital. Hey guys, so I'm home. I didn't record in the hospital. Ouch. <laughs> for obvious per P uh, reasons. Ouch. Just my nose ring out. Oh, really? Okay, so I don't know where the strips are. She's having issues. She think, thinks that she got a dud. But I can't even find them. Oh. So she's saying for me to do it because of just like blackheads that everybody gets and, and everything. So I took my nose ring out. Gonna clear off my face a little bit. Just kind of rinse it. Slits featured in the strip, okay. Wait, so After washing up. your face thoroughly, wet your nose. So I should cleanse face. my face. Yeah, cleanse your face, but wet your nose. The strip won't stick if skin is dry. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Well, at least we know the issue. <laughs> when you have to wash your face. Right? I guess. <laughs> it hurts to take it off. Yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you just need it with your nose, and you really don't even need it with your nose. Most people would not, you know, have a little bit of stuff up here. I just I'll wipe just it wipe it. But you gotta make sure you're wet on your nose area. I figure, though, that it probably will get off more if you use the the cleanser yeah. beforehand. Yep. Because it gets to the root of the problem. Yep. Okay. So, this, you just take this off. I can get it. And you put that over your nose. Any way you want. <laughs> you have such a pretty nose. <laughs> Be careful not to put it in your eye. <laughs> You're gonna rip your eye apart. Yeah, I'm trying to get. <laughs> yeah, you a little off, but that's okay. <laughs> and then, yeah, just rub it down. And then I'm not sure how long we have to stay. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait, so you just have to keep putting pressure on it? Come on, Rosie. Oof. Hey guys, so it is just about 10 p.m. I've been home for a little while, maybe like an hour and a half to two hours or something. I was with him for probably five hours. Um, he, well, I'm so close with him. And basically what ended up happening um, is that he had a massive tumor. They said it was the size of a NFL football. He had a massive tu tumor in his, his stomach. And if he hadn't gotten the surgery when he got it, he would have died within hours um, because basically uh, the tumor was so big that it perforated his um, his bowel and he was he went like you know completely septic and everything um so he he was really very 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 close to dying um he's doing a lot better he's had two surgeries now they have um an ostomy like the bag that you know your body naturally empties into he has a wound vacuum in place to pull out all the bad stuff like that's in his abdomen and stuff and hopefully he's coming off of that in a few days but i haven't seen him i saw him when he was at, when he was admitted but i didn't see him um until or I, I hadn't seen him at all since before the first surgery so i just saw him for the first time today and he's lost so much weight um but i'm happy that i could be there because i know and 
probably some of you guys know how like absolutely isolating being in the hospital is so I wanted to stay because I wanted to make sure that like he felt like another person like their energy was there and he wasn't in the room by himself or whatever um because I know that that makes a huge difference so basically they're saying at the absolute earliest he'll be discharged on Thursday um I'm just you know, it's just really nice to finally see him after all of this, and I just had to be very careful because he has all these things going on um, externally, so yeah, I'm going to be taking this off soon, and then I'm going to try to go to bed on like more on time today because I haven't been, and or I've been going to sleep at like a normal time, but then like... I can't wake up for the life of me, I don't know why. So I'm gonna try to get like a little bit better sleep. Like I'm I'm not even falling asleep very late, but then I'm having like an impos impossible time waking up where I just feel so sick in the morning, so I don't really know what's going on. I don't know why it's been that way, but I'm gonna see, I guess we'll see how tonight goes. Um, I'm gonna try to eat some food. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. All right, so let's see how this comes off. Oh, that hurts. Oh my God, that really hurt. I think it actually got my blackheads though. All right, this is. So I just made a powerhouse of a thing of yogurt and really nervous about eating this just because probably is not going to sit well but I think it's going to be worth it because it is a powerhouse of stuff. The yogurt I get is specific, is specifically what I need for like um, for like the yogurt that I get is a specific kind which is like catered to what my my needs are, my intestines are. Um, so I'm having that, and I I have whole whole fat um, plain because it doesn't have artificial sweeteners or anything in it. Then I use maple syrup as my sweetener, um, and I do that with coffee actually, a matcha now too. And then I have chia seeds, um, which are amazing, amazing powerhouse. Um, or it's like a super what is that called? Superfood. I have that, and then I have some frozen berries, which is what I'm trying. I'm scared about it's what I'm nervous about trying, but I'm really hoping this works. Woo! So I'm basically just waiting for my meds to kick in so I can go to sleep. And um, yogurt was a little. Mm, um, But it was really good, and it, it, it was like a powerhouse of a yogurt. It had so much good stuff in it. A lot of superfoods, so I at least feel good that I got that stuff in today. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching.